years ago I read a bunch of Cormac McCarthy and as you know I should have made notes better one of his novels is about this guy who lives in the woods and uh, turns out he's got a bit of a necrophiliac problem he's who does storing them in the caves and stuff but but in between whatever Cormac McCarthy's writing about it's beautiful verse about what are, wherever it's happening so it caught on and I'm not you know so day it's called Day. In silence, after vultures bickered over the dead armadillo, he rose and yearned, slurped, and put on the sky inside out, squinched his nose, donned his shoes, stuffed his mitts in his hip pockets, snot-nosed and weary, sensing a bunch of sumac and sassafras, listening for a distant cry of a wasp or a whippoorwill, a crane, a bird of any other kind even a train whistle, or the light of a star. When finally came the faint whisper with a twist of his fingers on the knob, a voice on the radio across the sleeping souls and educated piss willies of doom boiled in the urine of virgin boys. Vicious gobs of phlegm, a damn leak in the engine roof, up a spider's ass, haft, open with a torch, and after a while it went to sand and they beat the dried leaves of the lady slippers into a powder, cackled and slapped his thigh, but missed the fly, used a mixture of chimney soot and lard. The old timer shut his trap, accentuated with a solemn nod and a puff of the stub of a cigar. It ain't your Friday yet, boy.